Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Mr. Team Guy and welcome to the Gaming Spotlight. Today we take a look at a game called Enter the Gungeon. This indie action pixelated dungeon crawler was developed by Dodge Roll and published by developer Digital on April 5th, 2016. Gungeon is the kind of game that other people are going to say, but if I already got Biting of Isaac, I don't need to play this one, stop. Put that thought out of your head, Isaac and Gungeon are two entirely different beasts. Isaac's game is asking you to play more than one time to get to a real ending. Gungeon's game is more straightforward. You have a dude, and that dude wants to get the gun to kill his past, and there's a giant pit between you and that gun that is filled with adorable bullets that use guns to shoot bullets. There's also shotgun shells that use shotguns to shoot shotgun pellets for you. And there's also a knight with a sword, but he uses the sword to shoot bullets at you. There's also a skeleton made out of bullets castings, but he shoots you with lasers. Basically, this game is incredibly adorable, but you must not drop your gun and hug the smiling bullets or you'll get shot by the bullet shooting bullets at you complicated but less so because it's all about getting to the end of the game. There's a subquest where you have to construct a bullet for the gun that kills your past. But that's about it. Gameplay is simple, you choose one of four characters. Every character has a minor changes. One has a helmet that works as additional HP, another has a lockpick, which means he can unlock any lock once per dungeon floor. Another one starts with a crossbow. I guess you understand what I'm getting at. Okay, you choose a character and go to the gungeon. Then you will meet a lot of different enemies with different abilities. You'll need to kill every enemy per room to be able to enter another one. Rooms, same as enemies, are randomly generated, so the high replayability is guaranteed. You will also find many different weapons and items that will help you fight the enemies. You can also find stores in the dungeon, where you can buy lots of cool stuff. As example, maps to the dungeon, keys to unlock doors, weapons, ammunition and even more crazy weapons. But to buy them, you'll need to collect bullets from dead enemies. Yep, bullets are currency in this game. Don't worry, the bullets you shoot with are entirely different from those you buy stuff with. I am impressed with the variation of guns, items, enemies and bosses this game offers. I have already played a lot and still haven't met even slightly as part of enemies this game has. Of course, because this game is all about the guns, you will find some very original ones. Or I could say weird ones. The soundtrack and the graphics are fitting this weird castle that is obsessed with guns. As always, love the pixelated graphics, enjoyed the hypnotizing soundtrack and freaking impressed by the gameplay. So if you want to find a gun that can shoot your past, shoot bullets with more bullets and gather bullets from them to buy even more bullets that you'll use for killing bullets, definitely try this game out. But seriously, this is some kind of bulletception, even loading screen has a jumping bullet. Okay, this was your boy Mr. Team Guy. If you like the spotlight, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and of course leave your suggestions on the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a bulletproof day.